With Barack Obama's inauguration as president for his second term in office fast approaching, the streets of Washington are alive with final preparations for the historic event. The inauguration itself will take place on January 20th, according to the 20th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. However, because it falls on a Sunday this year, the large public ceremony will be held on the 21st of January. Construction on the inauguration platform in front of the Capitol building began three months ago and has now been completed, and the dress rehearsals for the event have been proceeding with stand-ins for the president and his wife. In a symbolic gesture, Barack Obama has chosen to use the same Bible which former President Abraham Lincoln used in his inauguration for a second time. I very much like the pairing of this with Martin Luther King's Bible. I think it really makes uh, a very compelling statement. Uh, the man who abolishes slavery and the man who fights for civil rights leading up to the inauguration of Barack Obama for a second term. I think it's a really powerful combination. The Lincoln Bible is 1,280 pages long and was published in 1853 and is now kept in the Library of Congress. In total, the event is expected to draw some 600 to 800,000 visitors, and Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington's main thoroughfare, as well as surrounding roads and bridges, will be closed for the festivities, including the inauguration parade. Attendees are being asked to use public transport to get around the city.